Welcome back once again, all of my low carb friends. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Today, I have another very easy keto appetizer slash snack recipe for you. Today, I am going to show you how to make super easy keto wonton substitutes. Now, I know here in America, one of the most popular takeout foods is Chinese takeout food. And of course, being on a keto diet, many people cannot enjoy all those little luxuries of Chinese food because they are very high in carbs. But guess what? Here on this channel, I am going to do my best to get your favorite foods out there for you. So today, quick keto wontons. And if you want a printable version of this recipe, you can check out my website at janetsdeliciouslowcarbkitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious, low-carb keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I put out videos at least every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some affiliate links. Anytime you purchase anything using those affiliate links, a small portion of your purchase will go to me and help support the channel. So while you do all that, let's get cooking. Preheat your air fryer to 350 degrees. If you don't have an air fryer, you can preheat around a fourth cup of oil or so in a large skillet on your stovetop over medium heat. Just preheat it until your oil's hot. While your air fryer or your oil are preheating, in a small bowl, combine eight ounces of room temperature, very soft cream cheese. You do not want this melted, but you want it softened so that you can stir it easily. Add 11 grams or around two tablespoons of finely chopped green onion, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Beat these all together on medium low for about 20 to 30 seconds or until everything is fully combined and creamy. Once the mixture is creamy, scrape down the sides of the bowl and push the cream cheese mixture to the center of the bowl, then set it aside for a minute. Take six 8-inch keto tortillas of your choice and cut them in half. I like to use the Mission Carb Balance tortillas. You can use whatever keto tortillas you want. You can also use bigger or smaller tortillas depending on how big you want your wontons. Place one of the tortilla halves onto a clean work surface. Then turn the tortilla so that the straight edge of the tortilla is up and down vertically. Scoop around one and a half teaspoons of the cream cheese mixture onto the top portion of your tortilla half. Fold in the rounded side of the tortilla to create a straight edge. Fold the top corner portion of the tortilla over your filling. Make sure as you are folding it that you keep that top corner aligned with the opposite edge of the tortilla. Then fold the tortilla over again and again, so you'll have roughly about three folds there until almost all of your tortilla is completely folded. You should have a little bit of a tortilla tail at the end. Make sure as you are folding it, each time you fold it over, make sure the edges stay aligned. This will help to create a nice tight wonton package. Once you've folded the tortilla over about three times, take that little excess tortilla tail and tuck it into the folded layers of the tortilla to create a little bit of a sealed package. Then set that aside for a minute and continue to repeat the filling and folding and sealing process until all of your filling is used. Now, if your tortillas have been in the refrigerator or they feel a little stiff or anything like that, before you start filling and folding, you can warm your tortilla up just a little bit, either pop it in the microwave for 5-10 seconds or on the stovetop for a few seconds, just enough to warm your tortilla enough to make it flexible. That's up to you if you feel like you need to do that. Once your wonton substitutes are all filled and folded, then lightly spray the basket of your air fryer. Place the wonton substitutes into your preheated, lightly sprayed air fryer basket. Make sure you put these in a single layer and leave a little bit of space in between each one of the wontons so that you get a nice even cook all the way around. Lightly spray the top of each one of the wonton substitutes with some cooking spray or lightly brush it with some oil. 
Then air fry at 350 degrees for four to five minutes or until the wontons are golden and crisp. If you're using the stove top, then place your wonton substitutes into your preheated oil and cook for around three to four minutes on each side of the wonton or until it's crispy on all sides. Once your wontons are done cooking, open your air fryer and let the wontons cool in the basket for just about two minutes or so just so you can avoid burning your fingers. If you're using the stove top method, then once your wontons are done cooking, place them onto a paper towel so that any extra oil can be absorbed. Once they've cooled for a couple minutes, you can remove them from your air fryer basket, place them on the serving plate of your choice, and you can serve these immediately. You eat these warm or at room temperature. All right, here we have one of the wontons. It is hot. Look at that. Nice and crispy on the outside. Looks good, smells good. It's probably gonna be hot biting in in the middle of this, but hey, no pain, no gain, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, <middle of> that's hot. <laughs> that's really good though. Really, really good. Mm-hmm. I really like that. It's of course not gonna have the exact same texture on the outside as a wonton, of course. But it is a very, very good substitute. It's nice and crispy on the outside, the way a wonton should be. Has that nice creamy center of course you can use any filling you want my favorite's always the cream cheese filling that's my favorite one time but any filling will work with this really really good i really like these i'll have to make these more often you can eat these immediately or let them cool to room temperature if you do have any leftovers allow them to cool to room temperature place them in an airtight container and store them in the refrigerator for up to three days if you do store them and you want to reheat them, then just place them in your air fryer at 350 degrees for three to four minutes or until they're heated and crispy. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.